everybody, uh, my name is Rose. I got my Camp Jupiter and Camp Hot Blood shirts recently. Today, like in the morning, I was wearing this beautiful shirt, wait for it. This is my Camp Jupiter shirt. So I was like, wait, I want to try out this palette and I want to do something cool. So I was like, hey, wait a second. You know how there's like Slytherin makeup tutorials and like Gryffindor's pirate makeup tutorials and like Ravenclaw's inspired makeup tutorials where I was like, hey, if Harry Potter fans can do that, I can do something related to Percy Jackson because recently I've, I've been rereading the Percy Jackson books. Finished the series of Little Weapons and now I'm reading Apollo Trials. Ooh, an Apollo eye look. Yes. Please. Uh, so I've recently been reading all of this stuff and I'm just really excited and I love the idea and then I was like what if I do a freaking Camp Jupiter inspired makeup look and you're like why didn't you start with Camp Hot Blood? We all know our hearts are there. Not Camp Jupiter. We like Camp Jupiter but Camp Hot Blood is Camp Hot Blood and I know but it had a lot of purples and I was like purple yes. Anyway without further ado uh, because we don't want an 800 minute long intro. If you want to learn how to do this Camp Jupiter inspired makeup look, just keep on watching. I'm gonna start off by applying this Banana Boat Moisturizing Gel. For foundation today, I'm gonna be using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. One thing I really like to do when I use this foundation is first, like, kind of like putting it on with a brush so that my Beauty Blender doesn't get as stained. Because let's be real, Beauty Blenders are freaking expensive and I don't have money to spend on a Beauty Blender every time he's so dirty I can't clean it anymore. So I first just make sure that it's kind of even it out. And once that's happened, I blend it in with a Beauty Blender. This white light is making me look so ghostly. For concealer, I'm gonna be using Maybelline H Rewind. We all know what it is, we all know what it does, we all have seen videos raving about this because it's great. I recently got it and I think it's good, so we're gonna use that today. I look like I have a mustache and also ridiculous. Hello, please don't leave. I don't look this white in real life. What I'm gonna use for setting my under eyes is a beauty blender, damped. Because I'm gonna be using bright purple shadows, I'm gonna bake. The bake catches all of the fallout for setting the rest of my face. Um, I'm gonna use the MAC Mineral Eye Setting Powder. For eyeshadow, I'm gonna be using this new eyeshadow that I literally just got. You can't see it, but I have the Olympus in the back, like it's the Empire State Building. And that's London. Just because I'm obsessed with Doctor Who, that's a TARDIS. So yeah, the Elsa palette by Beauty Creations. I'm gonna start up by priming my eyes with this MAC Paint Pot Concealer to make the eyeshadow stick to it and just look a lot more vibrant when I put it on. I'm gonna start by using this light purple on the outer view of my eyes. Once that's done, I'm gonna move to this fluffy brush to start smoking it out. I'm gonna proceed on to grabbing this deeper purple and using it on the crease and concentrating it more on the outer V and then using a fluffier brush to blend it out. Then I'm gonna grab my Select Cover Up Concealer from MAC and one from Clean Color and combine them because the matte one is too dark and then use it to carve out my crease. I then grab the shimmery purple that looks blue but it's purple and put it both the outer and the inner corner of my crease and then grabbed the lighter purple to put it on the center to make a halo eye kind of thing. Then I used a fluffier blush to blend it all in. And then because I was thinking, you know how Camp Half Blood shirt, it's purple and then the logo is golden. I grabbed a little bit of gold then and popped it right in the center of everything and then blend it out to avoid harsh line. For the lower lash line, I grabbed the same purple I used at the beginning and just smoked it out and blend it out really well all in the bottom and then I grabbed a fluffy brush to wipe off the bake and a blush blush to kind of blend out all of the edges that I had left to make them perfect. For eyeliner I used a Kat Von D tattoo liner and just did a winged liner. I ended up putting more of the golden shadow in the center because I thought I needed 
some more pop and then I grab this iridescent pinky shadow to use on the inner corners. All right, so that's the eye look all complete. I'm gonna go to put some mascara, uh, lashes, and do my eyebrows off camera and I'll come back right after that. Eyebrows are done, lashes are on, so I'm gonna continue with the face. I'm gonna start off my Mexican finish that's darker to kind of like bronze up my face. Then I'm gonna take this Hoola bronzer to bronze out my face and because I am not into really intense contour, I also use it as contour. I just go harsh and I just blend it out. I'm gonna be using the Christopher Buckle little thing that has bronzer and like blush and highlighter and everything. I, I don't know, I got it at Costco and it's worked. And for highlight, superb extra dimension skin finish, which is a highlighter, and this Prolux. It's the Baked Bronzer Illuminator Duo. So first I'm gonna use the Baked Duo Bronzer. And I'm just gonna take the golden t Ooh, yes. And just gonna top it off with superb. And as for lips, which is basically the one thing we're missing, I'm gonna be using this lipstick. That's from Ever Beauty, and it's a lipstick pencil. And I'm using Lip Inflection Colorful from Sally Hansen. I don't know if they still sell this anymore. I don't know if Sally Hansen still sells makeup anymore, but I know you can get them on eBay because it's really good, and I googled it. Anyway, so that's the finished look. I hope you like it a lot. Um, I did my best. Hell, I'm not even a professional makeup artist, and I'm here trying hard because I love Percy Jackson, and I love the Percy Jackson world. Anyway, I really hope you liked this video, and if you did, give it a thumbs up down below. Um, it would help me a lot, I guess. And I, uh, I want to make more of this. For example, I would like to make a car health blood eye look, which would basically be orangey and, I don't know, woogey and just really interesting and I would like to make a freaking everything I look like maybe even an I look for each book for example House of Hades getting an I look and like maybe the Lighting Deep getting an I look and making different I looks for everything Percy Jackson related and I'm also a massive fan of Supernatural and Doctor Who so maybe we could do something related to that stuff too because that would just be fun it would be fun for me and I just hope it would be fun for people watching uh, this video so yeah, give it a thumbs up, and if you're interested in any more makeup tutorials of any other fandoms, uh, just leave it down below because I might as well be of that fandom because I'm basically in almost every fandom possible, yay! And like, just everything, I just love everything, okay? Like, if it's low-key famous, like the only thing I haven't managed to watch is Homestuck, but like, the big Tumblr, big bad boys, I've watched them. I'm Firefly. I have not watched Firefly, but I want to watch Firefly, and I'm gonna do that one day. And if you want me to do a makeup inspired look on Firefly, then I might as well watch Firefly to make that makeup inspired look. Anyway, so subscribe, and down there I'm gonna leave my Instagram if you care. Uh, and yeah, that's, that's it. That's all my social media. Bye bye!